Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a map called the Southern California Highway Alpha RC6. And one thing I want to point out about the description on this map, 121 plus individual miles of roadway. That means that there is so much roadway on this map, there's no way I could possibly drive on every single road on this map in any sort of reasonable amount of time for a single video. So we're going to be driving on a small section of all the roads that are available, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of just how big this place is to start things off. So we zoomed out so far where the truck is basically a speck on our screen, and then we could pan around here to see just how big this island is. And I do call it an island because it's surrounded by the ocean, but it's just a really big island that has tons of roads all over the place. You have some sections where it's flatter, uh, but most of the sections are pretty mountainous, like uh, this area over here and over there and well, everywhere but right there. That area is just strangely flat. I'm not sure if that's just the way it looks for variety or if there's going to be mountains eventually. Not sure, but this is only release candidate six, which means it is currently in an unfinished state. But point is, way tons of road. It might even be the map with the most amount of roads overall that I've ever seen, period. I can't recall a map that has more road than this one at the moment, but there might be some out there. Anyways, I'm just grabbing the race version of the Sunburst to drive along. I want something fast just because it's mostly like open roads like this where you can take advantage of a fast car and actually go fast. You'll see that the GPS does function, so we have a little mini map in the left corner of the screen. And also, the AI is able to drive these roads. So maybe in a bit we could actually do some stuff with the AI, but right now, I just wanted to drive onto some of the roads so you can see what they look like without distraction. Then we could throw in some distractions, like right here. We actually have an off-road section, and this isn't like a real serious off-road or anything. This is like the kind of off-road you would use a rally car for, so we'll keep the sunburst just because I didn't really drive that much. We'll swap to the rally version and then continue along over here. And you see there are some jumps like that, but there's no rocks on the side of the road or anything like that for you to crash into, so you can be sloppy with it, you know, driving into the side of the road like this all over the place and stuff, and you'll be fine, although we did just break out some glass right there with a little bit of air time, but... That's what happens with rally cars sometimes, right? They get some air time. Nothing abnormal there. Woo! Go right. But you can be super sloppy as you see me doing. Like, I'm not trying to stay on the road super hard or anything. I'm just kind of accelerating and... Oh, no! Ironically enough, I broke the car while I was actually on the road. And wheel axles being broken are truly the most annoying thing to drive with because then it means you cannot go in a straight line. So we're just kind of flopping about all over the places. That left tire does not do anything like what I say. I'm surprised I'm actually kind of able to go in the direction I want. Like I'm not resetting it just because it's still kind of going in that direction. By the way, if you decide to really venture off course, seems like most of the area you can actually drive on, like there's nothing that's super crazy or anything like that where you can't drive up it. Most of it, you could totally drive up. But this is just getting ridiculous. I have like no control over this thing. So we'll bring it back to the regular road and we'll swap it out for another car. So right there, perfect alignment for Another rally car, probably. Off the top of my head, we got a rally car in the Pessima or the Covet. We'll go with the one in the Pessima, just because I like the way the Pessima looks more than the Covet a little bit at this point in time. But my opinions change all the time. Tomorrow, it might be the other way around. Right now, it's like, that car looks more appealing. We're going to drive that one. It kind of is like, which car matches up with the environment to me? And right now, this one. So we'll go a little bit slower here, just to make sure we don't ruin the car because I want to try to use this thing for a while. Now we could go over there onto that road and drive over there. Or we could continue along here. I'm actually having an internal debate right here and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep this car right here so we can come back to here if I want to and then we're going to bring another car up onto the road and we'll drive that. So we'll grab like the race version of the Bishu Tuna BX. Plop it up there on the road. Oh, what are you doing you maniac? Plop you on the road and then get you upright too. Then we could go ahead and drive around this road a little bit. Because I want to have some more paved road. Because we've been doing a good amount of the dirt road already. And this is a good place for the paved road because you got bridges! I think it'd be fun to like kind of ride up the edge of this bridge, so we're gonna do that. Drive shaft broken, that actually totaled the car and ah! that rear wheel is all messed up. So we could accelerate all we want, not going to do anything. Just quick reset and keep going. See, that's why I left the other car back there. Because I knew I would do stupid things like this, and then I would have to drive my way back. This way, I just don't have to. I could just swap cars later on. 
All right, we're gonna do it again. Do it again. Drive shaft broken again. And this time, radiator damage adds a little extra. Let's see if we upright it. And we can coast, coast, coast onto a new section of road. Always takes a second for this car to start off. So funny about that. Because it runs so much boost. It's like, wait for it, wait for it, and there we're going. Gotta be patient. Hey, right there, that was kind of cool the way the uh, textures on the terrain looked right there. There's a little bit of a variety on the bridge. And what I was actually driving to was the tunnel over there. Whoa, what the heck? Okay, that was not right. Something with the transmission just freaked out. Like, it downshifted way, way illogically right there and basically over revved the engine when I didn't expect it and caused me to spin out. Like, that was all on the transmission. I don't know what just happened. Either way, there is the tunnel, and we're going to go right in the middle. We're not going to be on a road. We're going to be in the dirt. We could pop it in the air just a bit right here. Yup. Looks like we can actually fly off of the place too. That might be fun. That looks like a jump almost. Beautiful. But you can see there's a pretty good variety to the actual terrain around you. You know, you got the parts with water, and then you got the parts where it's the flatter, like I said, and the more rough. It's like, there's a variety to it. Anyways, we'll bring this thing back up to this road, and then we're gonna go ahead and swap back to the rally Ibishu, and we're gonna drive this thing around the dirt road a bit more. So making it all confusing because we're bouncing back and forth, but that's kind of what this video is, just bouncing on some roads with uh, no real purpose to it. Just kind of showing you the roads because that's uh, what you can do on this map. It's driving. There's no um, like crash testing stuff or anything that I've really seen. Although there could be a section that's like that and I just missed it because there is so much road. You know, I tried to drive a good amount of it, but probably at most I drove half of it. You know, I, there's a lot of the roads that I have not driven on whatsoever. And we are totally not even on this road, so I don't know if you can even count that as driving on the road. We're like all over the place half the time. Oop, that's going to the left, slow it down. Like this is a pretty good like kind of rally style where you got a lot of bumps. So you just have to maintain levelness when you're going over them. But they're not big enough for you to wreck your car as long as you're a little bit careful. Well, actually, maybe a little bit more than a little bit. Although, you know what might be fun right here is just kind of riding up the cliff and falling off of it. So we'll go like this. And not quite getting the fall. We actually managed to stay on it. I was going to try to roll it off the cliff, but it is not going to cooperate with me there. So we'll just keep driving it. Maybe uh, if we go straight up that corner, we could fly off the cliff a little bit. So we go up on the cliff, just like last time. And there we go, a little bit down the cliff, not exactly the way I was hoping that to go. Go a little farther, a little farther. All right, we're just going to uh, give it a little bit of a help. Go off the cliff. Off the cliff. There we go. Like, it didn't really do any damage to the car, but I wanted it to go down the cliff. That's all. Get back up here and drive it to the road a little bit. That shouldn't be an issue. You notice there is a difference in the color of the terrain, like right here, it kind of transitions from more to like a more orange color. One of those small details you kind of have to look at to notice, but it's neat when you do. Right here, we're just winging it. We're kind of staying around the road. That's what I'm going to do for a while. Maybe we'll try driving on no roads at all so you can see what it's like when you just drive on the terrain. That's not good. All right, wheel axle broken. Dump this car into the water. I think there's water somewhere around here. Not gonna make it though, are we? Wait! Into the water, come on! We needed more camber! Let's go! And into the water. And that rear tire is. Come on, go there you go. That looks cool. Alright, so we'll bring it back up and then we're gonna go to just a basic vehicle for off roading, like a little bit more than a rally car. So we'll do D series and we'll get. D35, uh, V8 extended cab, uh, mm, yeah, that one, four-wheel drive. I want four-wheel drive because a little bit of off-roading capabilities is necessary. And we're just going to go like this. Like, see, here's dirt. Well, let's drive on that dirt. No problems doing this kind of stuff. 
Swap over to this dirt where it looks a little steeper. Should be able to drive up it. There are some places where it's a little bit too steep, I've noticed, to be able to drive up. But most of the time, you can get away with it. And if you have some momentum behind you, like right there, makes it even easier. So you totally don't need to stay on the roads, though. We're going to try to go on the roughest part right there, although it looks like it just looks rougher. Yeah, it actually is the same. It looked a little bit like it was bumpier, but it turns out it was just textured to look bumpier once we got close to it. And hello! There is a hill, or a cliff I would say actually. All unexpected. Great way to ruin your truck though. I kinda wanna do that again. I, 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 that was just kinda neat so I don't wanna do it again. So bring it back up! And then this time we're gonna try to get down it without ruining the truck. And then we'll do it one more time, ruining the truck just because it was so fun. So I just want to see, can you do it without ruining it? Just slam it on these brakes, and yeah, no problem. Driving up it might be a little bit difficult, that might be one of the ones where it's not quite possible unless you have a lot of momentum, but I don't know if this one can really get enough momentum to do that. Nice and smooth and complete! Well, I mean, I accelerated here, which is, of course, going to damage it, because I wanted it to. Flip it! Yeah! Alright. Oh, wait, it's still rolling. I was going to say, let's do that one more time, but first it has to finish rolling. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so one more attempt at this, like I said I would do, and this time... Fun mode. We're just going to floor it and actually maintain some resemblance to control accidentally. There we go, there's a little bit. Although apparently I just did really bad the first time because this time I didn't get too badly damaged at all and I didn't even roll that much. Well, I guess I rolled a little bit, but still, the other one felt worse. Anyways, let's bring this thing over to the road and then we're gonna go ahead and get two cars to play around with. Well, actually, we already have two cars, don't we? So we can just bring the other car over here then we can play around with it. First, just gotta get to that road. Okay. Park it right there. Grab the other car and just bring it over here. So you know what? We'll give that car to the AI. They will get to drive that. First, we gotta add the AI app real quickly. Because I remove them because I only use them, or I only have them on the screen if I'm gonna use them. So we'll just put it over there. And then we'll tell the AI to flee. And I don't know what in the world that truck is doing right there. For my car, I'm gonna go ahead and go with ATK Whatever that one was, the KC60, I think is what it's called. I could double check. KC60, yeah. Well, where are you going? You're supposed to be fleeing. Go! Go! Okay, I think spawning up the car messed them up, so we'll give them a little bit of help. Whoa, leg spike. Okay, I can't click on the buttons here. That is not how that's supposed to work. Uh, no, not at all. Try bringing up escape. Okay, I can't bring up the menu either. Oh, there we go. Oh, the whoa, the UI is just really lagged out or something. Okay, it's back. So, flee. And we'll chase them. Now am I gonna actually hit them? I don't know. Like, it sounds kind of fun just to cruise behind them like we're friends or something. Significantly different cars between friends. That's what makes it funny. One's got like a crazy tuned out Japanese car, the other guy's got a new modern, oh, European car, and I just hit that guy real hard, sorry about that buddy, that's what insurance is for, right? It's a good way to get on roads though, that's basically in a random way as far as I know, like the path they go is basically random I think. Also interesting how that road over there is so much darker than this one. Kind of un unusual. There's a big bridge over there. I kind of want to go there, but I have no idea how I would actually get there. Ooh, I'm gonna overtake ya! Just kidding, I wouldn't overtake you, buddy. 
because he was starting to outrun me. Whoa, breaking, breaking, breaking. Why are we breaking? Oh, now he's going to go in the other way. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. We'll make him flee. And then I'll drive this one. Again, with the kind of acting up game right there for a second. Like, the UI is just... There it goes. For a second, it was not updating. Don't know exactly what's causing that. I don't know if it's the map or if it's something else. I have barely any mods installed, so I don't think it's a mod. We'll just cruise behind my ETK friend. Who is so slow compared to me. That's why I did it the other way earlier. I'm going to bump him just a bit. Make sure he knows I'm here. Hey, buddy! Bump draft! Because I'm a NASCAR driver in my dreams. Bump draft! It's a little bit more than a bump draft, isn't it? Uh-oh, starting to pass them. Can't do that. You know, I probably should just put them on random instead of flee, so that way if I do pass them, it doesn't mess anything up. Didn't think about that. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. It was only a minor inconvenience, really. Whoa, a little bit of a bump. Whoa, stop slowing down so much. All right, I'm going to put them on random right now because they will do something different if I don't. Whoa, see, like right here, freezing, freezing, freezing. What is this? And then we're fine. All right, please don't be turning around on me. Awesome, he's still going straight, so we're good. Now, where will you go? Oh, I'm gaining on you so hard. Oh, something just broke on him. You all right? Keep going, man. Are you going in which road? He's like kind of in between them. Bump draft. Now I'm really pushing him. Although I think he's breaking because he's freaking out. And in the end, we both just go slower. So that's not working. Get out of the way, you slow poke. You're done. You can't keep up with me. Woo, look at that shadow. That's a bridge up there. I gotta make my way to that bridge. In the fastest way possible, which is probably not this way, but I thought it might be at first. It's definitely not gonna be. Wait. There's where I wanna be. Nailed it. Even pointed in the right direction. First, we gotta admire all that damage, though. That is pretty beat up. Okay. So let's go and reset this thing right here. And then accelerate. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, the gauges are broken again. There we go. I took a second for it to get going. Just a little bit of a struggle. Is the AI still following me? Oh, there they are. They're chasing me. Can't catch me, but they can chase me all they want. Whoa, whoa. Why am I getting so squirrely right there? That was weird. And apparently this doesn't get me to the bridge like I was hoping. Oh, well. We can at least drive this for a bit. See where it goes to. Maybe it'll go to that other bridge I saw. Oh, this is a little steep. Gonna fly just a tad. Yep, just a bit. What was over there? Not the bridge, that's for sure. Keep going. Flying! This car is doing a great job of uh, staying controlled at these speeds. I right, gotta slow down a bit. There's a pretty harsh corner coming up. Don't want to do anything too stupid with that. And I'm actually taking it way deeper than I need to because I'm all in the dirt. Uh, luckily, the dirt doesn't seem to slow you down any more than the the paved road, so you can do that whenever you want. Oh, that's bad. Oh, there goes a tire. Oh, there goes another tire. Now we're on the wrong side of the road. Or the right side. I mean, I don't really know what country this is in, whether or not it's left hand or right hand uh, drive kind of country. But either way, we don't want to drive that in either country. Interestingly enough, I'm still ahead of the ETK. Or maybe they crashed. I don't know. Let's take a peek at them, huh? It's a real quick peek. Whoa, whoa! They're so far away, the game had to like load it in or something. They're just going a different direction, I guess. Or maybe they're just really far back. One of the two. 
All right, I'm gonna find a way. Maybe not. I have no idea how to get there. I really have no idea how to get to those bridges. But I want to drive on them. The question is just, will I do it legitimately or will I teleport? Another tunnel. Nice big tunnels in this thing. Slow it up though, because even though it's big, it does have a sharp corner to it. Sharpish. See, the problem is I'm getting farther and farther away from the bridges. Watch, the uh, ETK is going to somehow find the way on a bridge before me and I'm going to be furious, right? It looks like we have to be able to get on that somehow around here. I don't think we should have went left there. That doesn't look like it would connect. It's too much in the middle of the bridge, isn't it? You would expect some sort of, like, turn off over here. Yeah, there's something. I see some roads converging. Slow it way down so I can figure out what I'm doing. And just cruise it through. And we want to go left up here, and that should get us on the bridge. I wonder what would happen if I uh, told the AI to chum and chase me wherever they're at. They say, all right, go chase him. Where are they? They are they're going back the way they came. How weird. Whoa, there's a lot of roads to go to the bridge eventually. A little bit of air. A little bit of air again. This bridge is a little bumpy. Little air again, little air. Might be another little air. Just a bit. Ooh, that was a little bit more bouncing now we're on the bridge kind of under dramatic but we're on the bridge keep going full throttle keep going full throttle I wonder if the AI will ever find me if I just park I would assume they would oh that's a wall I wanted to go basically straight through the wall which is what I did I just didn't think it'd be that violent because I saw what looked like a way to get back on to the other bridge like up over here so I was like I'll take a direct path through there up oh, wall I figured it would open up by the time I got here no too optimistic there Wait a minute, that's not a bridge at all. Ooh, but that's a jump. Yeah! Oh, that's a big jump. We're gonna we're gonna ruin it. There we go. That's a pretty good crash to uh end the video on, don't you think? So I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. So till next time, this has been YBR. I'm gonna just keep an eye out for the ETK, see if he ever gets here. Maybe leave the game running for about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, I'll be back if he shows up or not. Look who's here, it's only a couple minutes away, and... Hello, ETK friend! Who's very, very violent. I guess he never quite forgave me for, uh, those bump drafts. Alright, well, that'll do for, for the final part, then, for real. Till next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya!